Hello and welcome. We are about to take a good look around the Lego store located at the Lego house known as Home of the Brick. Now this is for their Halloween season, so this was actually filmed in October. Yes, it's been uploaded very, very late, but it is what it is. So there's lots of things that are saying that are brand new that have just come out, but it would have come out in the month of October, not in the month that you are watching or when this got uploaded. But it is packed full of exclusive Lego sets dotted all over the place. You can see compared to the last video they have got the actual sets back in a lot of the sets back in now so they've got the wooden duck and they have got the lego house as well loads and loads of exclusive key rings magnets and other lego sets as well so it's a very very big store this one and all the obviously you can imagine the exclusive lego sets are a must for a lot of people so you can see all of the different types are out and about. It'd be very interesting to see what comes out in the 2023 season as well. If you have managed to get here to the Lego house in Berlin, Denmark over the 2022 season, obviously please do let everyone know in the comments below what your experiences were like. I have managed to get here now four times, I think, over the 2022. So I'm very, very lucky just with regards to how cheap it is for the flights, because for the flights for me, it's about 20 pounds return, just with a little bit of hand luggage. So. I'm lucky, lucky in that retrospect, so it's it's okay for me for that, but obviously for the other parks much further afield, it's a completely different story. So just remember, this is filmed over their Halloween season, hence why the pumpkins and everything are out, and I would imagine for their Christmas period, they would have had all the Christmas decorations out and everything as well. So if you can, let us know in the comments below if you did manage to get here between uh, November and December when they put all of their Christmas decorations out let me know what it looked like and if you have got any of these sets at all or they are on your wish list then please do let me know because i do like the fact that they have so many different types of lego sets at the lego house built up and every single time i come here they always have different sets on display they've got some massive sets they've got some smaller sets and they've got them dotted all over the place as well and it's just quite nice to see all of them so as we go around we'll try and soak in as much as we can it does start to get busier as i start filming around so that's why this video is actually only 11 minutes long usually they are close to the 20 minute mark but i couldn't get all of the store this time just because certain parts of the store were very very busy but it's always nice to see when uh when there's a lot of people in here because obviously it means they're selling lots and lots of sets but you can see all of the different sets that are on display you are really spoilt for choice with regards to what is available at this store and then directly behind me when i turn around you have all of the modular sets all of the new icon sets they have all of them together huge wall of lego just all of the really expensive sets all side by side and they do have the Colosseum on display and then they also have the Falcon on display as well and they might have the Titanic on display I'm trying to remember what was on display at this visit because I am watching this back for the first time with you so these this is the mountain of war so you have all of the models up on the top on the roof and then further down you'll have all of the Star Wars sets and then you've got all of the UCS sets all of the larger sets off from that as well you can see that you are spoiled for choice if you are a star wars fan because you have absolutely anything and everything that you'd want out on display and i say this quite a lot when we come to lego house i like the fact that how they actually have them on display with the bricks just thrown in so it's not like they will tile the base plates they will just put loads of different colored bricks down and i think it looks very very effective so if you do have a plexiglass display case that you have yours in let me know if you have ever tried something like that just to see if it gives a sort of different feel to it rather than it just being in an open in an open case or unless you've just got the backdrop set you can obviously get but there is lots and lots to pick and choose from from the star wars section and then we'll carry on and panning around and then we'll see what else that is on offer i do believe the lighthouse is here and there's obviously quite a few other new sets that came out so they are saying obviously the, the razor quest had just come out at this point so they had got that up on there that one hadn't been built yet but there was a lot so this is one of the largest star wars groups of stuff that i've seen all together in almost any shop i think because even in the legoland park they'd actually split the bigger sets to the smaller ones whereas this time they had just put them all together but every visit they have always redone the stores and it always looks fantastic with regards to what is out on display and there's always bits and pieces out at the front of the store as well so you can always when you first come in you can have a look and see all the bits and pieces that are available you do not need a ticket to the lego house to come in and buy these lego sets from this store and your vip points work in this store as well so 
I thought I'd get that out of the way early in case you are wondering what is going on and how you can get into here. You need a ticket to actually go up and see all the attractions in the Lego house. But you do not need a ticket to come into this store and have a look at the bits and pieces they've got on display on the ground level. But like I said, you are spoilt for choice with regards to absolutely everything that is out and about in here. Obviously, there's some very, very big boxes, but it is handy to know that your VIP points work. And obviously, when they're on double VIP points, you will get it when they, got, they do the giveaway purchases just like they would do in any other normal lego store so i do believe at this point it would have been the extra pirate giveaway so i think that was what the stuff that was behind their till and oh, as the voiceover i'm doing this now we are looking for the black friday through to the cyber monday so if you are there over those four days there will be a huge amount to pick from it'd be interesting to see if they actually have anything in sale in store because so i've never been when they are on sale but it'd be very very interesting to see but they also have a good selection of the pab wall as well. You've got a lot of bricks and a lot of bits and pieces that you can pick from. And this display changes regularly as well. It's, it says on the front where it's come from, who it's by, and it will be a piece that will be on display at a local show and then they bring it back and it's sort of a different a different club as you will and then this is also a bit that will change all the time because it's one of the new architecture sets and then when you come back they'll have a different set within so there's lots and lots of bits and pieces to pick and choose from but if you are a lego architecture fan then obviously please do let me know in the comments below if you do like collecting these lego sets or are you more of a speed champions which we'll be coming into and then from there we'll be going into the lego technic sets as well so there is lots and lots of lego sets to pick from and i like how it flows within the store as well because they've sort of easily grouped it all together for you to see absolutely everything in the further distance you've got all the lego city and the friends sets and then you've got some more little bits and pieces in the middle i do believe we might miss out on one or two of them it's either i didn't film it or the second part the file did not come off the memory card and i deleted it by mistake possibly that might be the case because I am surprised that this video is only 11 minutes long, but I am walking around a little bit quicker than normal. I think it's shorter just because it was a very, very busy day, and I actually filmed the shop before I went into the Lego house. Normally I do it on different days, but I was only here within this bit for the one day, because the day before I spent all day at the park. But it wouldn't put it past me that I did actually miss the file, but we will we will see. But we are getting the main side of the shop done anyway, which so that's that's not too bad. But you've got all of the Lego Classic and the Lego 3-in-1 creators up on this side. This is just up by the till. And then you have some of your base plates and little bits like that that you can pick from. So you can see all your Lego Classic base plates. And they've got them in the, in the white, the green, the blue, and the huge one in grey as well if you want one of those. And then obviously you can just pick your bits and pieces with, within. And then the, you've got your Lego Educational and some Duplo bits all located around by the tilt and then again coming on to the other side you've got your dc i do believe you have your marvel and there we go look so it's all it's all in front so you've got a lot of dc a lot of marvel and um, bits and pieces to pick from as you're looking at the sets don't forget if you were to come in this store there's actually a lot to look at with regards to the bits and pieces that are above the roof as well because they've got a amazing lego display above all the boxes and then in the entrance slash exit of the shop which is obviously just a big open mouth you actually have all of the Lego symbols as well. So it's um, it's really nice to see they've got a little bit of the history of the company within. But now, obviously, we are looking at all of the Wuganda Forever sets. And then they're right beside all of the DC and the Super Mario bits and pieces. And then again, we're now looking at the pumpkins. And then I'm trying to remember off the top of my head how it goes. From there, I do believe Ninjago. And then we'll have the bigger Ninjago sets up on display at the top and the dragons up at the bottom. And then will come round and pan round to the front. If for whatever reason we miss it, there is the mosaic uh, maker and you have all of that behind me as well. I don't actually think I will miss it. I think we will see it all. It's just that I did short, sharp bursts of everything quickly just because it was a busy time. So yeah, no, it's fine. Nothing's been missed. I just did it very, very quick. So that's your mosaic and it's 799DKK. Never had one done. If you have had one done, then obviously please do let me know in the comments below. The box that you get given looks absolutely massive. Um, with all the pieces and everything so it does look like it's worthwhile getting done and it's not a horrific price because obviously it's your own personal personal thing so it'd be interesting how many of you can be put in on one photo and how see it prints it all off but it's not bad it says you get it all in in five minutes so that's not bad going at all and don't forget that includes all the instructions and everything as well and then we've got all of the lego friends and then that carries on into all of the lego city stuff around the outside so you've got the the bit and pieces in the middle you can see the queue for people getting their custom minifigure made 
that if you do catch the store at the wrong time, it will be a very, very busy. So if you do want your own um, custom sort of limited edition minifigure with Lego house bits and pieces on, just time it right. Either come in at lunchtime or don't leave it right to the end of the day because it will be absolute chaos otherwise and you'll be waiting for ages. They have got four screens there with a permanent member of staff but it can be very, very busy. So, no, I'm glad we actually did manage to get the whole store. I just did it very, very quickly on this day, so I'm glad nothing was missing from the memory card. I know I'm silly, but I'm not that stupid, so that's all right. But, guys, I am slowly starting to run out of time. So, if you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this super short, sweet tour of the LEGO store. You can see the amount of new stuff that's coming out with regards to all the calendars, and we're coming into all the, the Duplo and everything like that. And then we'll go out to the front of the store, and we'll have a look at the displays that are built up at the front. The nice thing is, is that you can pick up your Lego bag and leave it. So if you were to come in when it was quiet, you can then just leave your big Lego bag there, do the house if it won't, if the bag won't fit in your locker, and then you can come back later on in the day and then just collect it and take it away with you. So that is something to consider and remember rather than getting stuck in the cube. I'm going to leave you to all of these models in these glass, plexiglass displays now. So guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. You not take care. I'll catch you next one. Ta-da. Thank you.